Hi everyone, this video is related to UPSC CSAT 2023, which is which is the GS2 paper. Uh, around 40 days are left for your prelims, and some of you must be really stressed on how to uh, attempt the uh, GS2 paper because uh, you must be really bad at quant, and you must have patience. Uh, in your mind like uh, whether you will be able to qualify the uh, prelim this time so this video I'm just making for you all to give you an approach on how to attempt questions uh, related to reading comprehension so that you don't do blunders here okay we tend to do blunders in the C set uh, paper so you don't tend to do blunders and you answer the questions rightfully without to like just uh, without thinking much okay so, uh, okay, um, if you're match is weak, so there is uh, a good news for you, like see, uh, reading comprehension will be your savior because every year around on an average 25 questions are asked, I'm just saying on an average it can vary to like 28, 29 or 24, 23 also, okay. There are certain terms which are repeatedly asked in PYQ, I will show you in the next few slides, okay. So the reading comprehension portion of CSET is a really high scoring uh, one if you practice well and if you read well here uh, uh, I'm talking about practicing the PYQ not any coaching uh, random uh, comprehension portion you just have to really uh, need to do the PYQ from, uh, of UPSC only and um, so what reading comprehension is about it includes reading and comprehension. So comprehending things, whatever you're reading, you have to comprehend that well. You have to comprehend that well. And the second thing is, if you understand the terms of the question, like what the question is asking, is it asking the assumption? So if the question is asking uh, about the assumption, you have to answer accordingly to, of, to the passage, not according to what you assume, okay, what the passage assume. This is very important. I will cover this also in the next slide, so you just uh, wait, okay. Mm, I will cover a few PYQ also, so there are no doubt and you uh, tend to learn few things, okay. So uh, assume uh, there are around 25 questions uh, in a certain uh, previous year paper and you tend to uh, you tend to do 20 questions right. So the question is 2.5 marks each and you get to 50 and if we exclude the five rounds that you did in the 25 question it amounts to like 4.4 so on the on that side you will get 45.6 marks which is not bad like you just need 22 23 marks uh, in the uh, reasoning and uh, math portion so even if you do uh, reasoning uh, well and the uh, one or two questions from the math portion you will be uh, able to do good okay so if you are good at reading if you're fully good at reading comprehension and you are a little bit uh, okay -ish with the reasoning part then you will be able to qualify this exam but you have to remember in these three things the quant part the reasoning part or the rc part in one of these three things you have to be 100 percent in uh, any of the one okay if you are good at uh, reading comprehension, then balancing uh, it with reasoning and one or two questions from the quant section will do good to you. If you are uh, good at quant, then, <laughs> then this video is not at all for you. Like uh, there are 30 questions from the quant section, so and this isn't for you. But still, you can, if you want to score well, you can do the reading comprehension thing also, okay? Uh, so, okay, I have compiled the terms which are frequently asked uh, in the PYQs uh, from 2014, uh, 2015 onwards. I'm not covering the 2014 question paper or the earlier ones because there was a certain way UPSC was asking question till 2014. It was uh, majorly question answer based, like they would give you a passage and then ask you uh, certain questions related to the passage which have substantially changed from the 2015 part so certain terms that are used uh, frequently in the uh, reading comprehension are these uh, so they may ask you what is the logical and rational assumption so assumption if you are 
if you are if you see a question on assumption then you have to assume something that might be true according to the passage not according to your knowledge not anything else but just the passage if in reading comprehension you restrict restrict your mind with the passage you will be uh, scoring good but if you use some of your prior knowledge then uh, you will be able to uh, do uh, questions wrongly okay inference uh, so inference uh, is generally dictionary meaning if you see what you conclude what you inferred from the passage so uh, i have highlighted the i have highlighted the passage portion in red because i want to ha- i want to show you the importance of the passage okay because uh, students tend to assume things as uh, tend to conclude things tend to infer things based on their knowledge no you don't have to do that there is a passage in front of your eyes you have to read it and you have to answer things according to that not more than any more than that not less than that you just have to do things according to that only okay you might you might uh, see uh, uh, certain uh, statements which might be true based on your on your gs knowledge but trust me if it isn't in the passage you know you need not to answer that okay you have to see what according to the passage is right so uh, there are certain questions which ask uh, what is the crucial message of the passage so uh, in that you have to answer about uh, you have to read the passage and you have to find out what is the important message of the passage not the extra information the passage might have a crucial message related to climate change and there must be certain uh, extra information related to poverty pollution and everything but the crucial message is related to climate change you have to answer from that point of view only so uh, the other terms which is sums up crux implied by central idea tone critical inference so sums up is just a summary again the most important uh, uh, statement uh, not the extra information you have to answer uh, in the crux part then implied by so what the author implies or what is the hidden meaning uh, behind the pa- passage you have you have to answer accordingly the central idea and the tone of the passage uh, will be on the basis of the passage only not anything related to your prior knowledge so just wo- whenever you are doing uh, reading comprehension questions just stick the word passage in your uh, mind like you have to answer uh, according to the passage okay let's do some of the pyqs okay uh, before that i will answer uh, answer this question also okay so this is frequently asked question if we can use uh, elimination in reading comprehension so my answer is if you can if but first you have to practice for that to analyze you have to practice well you have to read well uh, if if you do these things then you will be able to identify the extreme statements the irrelevant ones like um, if we say baat ho rahi hai chidhiya ki aur wo statement mein de raha hai kisi sher ki baat okay so they are not related so you have to uh, you have to be able to identify uh, what are the relevant statements and what are the irrelevant ones okay and if it is restrictive um, see some of the questions if you see they uh, they tend to do the like all countries uh, need to do something and but you have to see in the passage is it about india only or uh, like the states only and if it is uh, saying like uh, uh, if it is given india and you uh, tend to answer it with some local area local area statement then it will be wrong like restriction should be identified i will show you in the 2015 question paper what i'm saying i know it must be confusing but you have to hold up i will tend to answer all of your questions like okay wait uh, before doing the questions i will show you something okay uh, so uh, generally uh, if we tend to analyze the pass- uh, the pyqs uh, the we can identify the topics which upsc frequently asks it can be related to climate change technology biotechnology genetics 
uh, anything related to genetic gene, gene engineering and everything and economy economy ones the economy uh, passages are really tough you have to be, you have to have focus while you're reading that because uh, you can not answer the economy passages if you are not focused so climate change uh, is the most important one because it's a very vast topic they can ask about uh, they can give about biodiversity pollution poverty anything uh, agriculture so climate change is a vast topic and they can ask so many of their this its aspect in the passage so why they are asking these questions because first of all they are very crucial topic if we consider our gs syllabus they are very crucial and the second we are familiar with these due to our gs syllabus so we tend to answer the questions on the basis of prior knowledge <laughs> instead of according to passage like if you know uh, what are the greenhouse gases you will say okay uh, certain certain uh, gases are the greenhouse gases but in the passage two of these only given but you will if you use your prior knowledge then you will answer it uh, according to what is in your mind not according to the passage which is really wrong like in gs this approach is good but in uh, reading comprehension this is wrong you cannot use the knowledge that you have you just have to answer according to the passage okay so let's do the questions now okay uh this one i think let's not do this one first because then you will be really confused the first passage i will read it along with you and from the second one uh, you have to like read it uh, by pausing the video and i will uh, an answer along with me okay the first one we will do uh, in a bit because i think you will get confused if you do this uh, uh, for the first time okay so the passage to by 2050 the earth population will likely have swelled from 7 to 9 billion people talking about pollution population to fill all those stomachs while accounting for shifting consumption patterns climate change and a finite amount of arable land and potable water some experts say food production will have to double it's talking about uh hunger food okay how can we make the numbers add up doubling the uh, food amount okay they it's just asking okay experts say higher yielding crop varieties and more more efficient farming methods will be crucial okay efficiency in agriculture so will waste waste reduction okay we have to reduce our waste experts urge cities to reclaim nutrients and water from waste streams and preserve farmland okay poor countries they say can improve crop storage and packaging and reach which nation could cut back on resource intensive foods like meat okay uh this this passage is telling us what should be done okay so the question is asking which one of the following statements best some sub the above passage okay so the the population of the world is growing very fast mm, what is this this is not even uh, relevant to the passage because uh, yes the first line is saying the earth population will likely have swelled but Uh, the question is asking best sums up so the is the passage talking about population or the passage is talking about food security you have to answer me like what is it talking about right it is talking about food security and the second option food security so it will not be right so second option food security is a perennial problem only in developing countries is there any specification in the passage about developed developing countries no yes so this will be wrong because see this is a restrictive statement like i was telling you in the previous slide about the restriction this is a restrictive statement the world does not have enough resources to meet the impending food security scarcity so see here we talked about waste reduction okay so there are resources and we are wasting them if we imply the statement so this will also not be right food security is increasingly a collectively collective challenge Mm, yes this is appropriate because uh, in the last paragraph uh, uh, it is talking about poor countries they say can improve crop storage and packaging and rich nations so it is talking about poor and rich simultaneously so yes this will be right okay so let's do this one 
let's do this one the first one so the question is human history abounds in claims and theories confining the right of governing to a few select citizens few select citizens so see restriction is there automatically in the passage okay exclusion of the many is justified on the ground that human beings may be rightfully segregated for the good of society and viability of political process okay so this passage is uh, uh, certainly a restrictive one which is talking about uh, few select citizen exclusion segregation okay so let's see i will write it for you it's talking about select citizen it's talking about exclusion and if you see it's talking about segregation see so uh, which one of the following statement is least essential okay so it's asking asking the least essential one um man seeks control over external things affecting him mm, let's hold this one then in society there are super and subhuman beings okay so yes uh not explicitly mentioned but uh, there is a description of few select citizen and it is asking the least essential so i think this will be okay then exceptions to universal citizen participation are conducive to systemic efficacy uh, yes uh, this is uh, this is given uh, exclusion of the many is justified on the ground that human beings may be rightfully segregated for the good of society so yeah this is right governing implies recognition of disparities in individual capacities yes the last line justifies this also so the answer will be this only because this is least essential mm, then the third one many people in india feel that uh, okay so you pause this video and read it uh, we will answer it in a few few minutes few seconds uh, okay so i am assuming you have read it so uh, the question is most valid assumption so see mm, uh so talking about cut okay building of equipment system by us has instigated our neighbors to wage wars against us um um okay so this is not even anywhere like you have uh, you matlab we have to assume something that is implicitly given so we have to assume it from that so no this is not given like you have to uh, build uh, if you are building weapon system uh, then it will instigate our neighbors the greater spending on weapon building by us would lessen the possibility of armed conflict with our neighbors so okay it is necessary to have state of the art weapon system for national so many people in india believe that we are wasting our resources and on weapon building uh, so see uh, here it is talking about building of weapon system by us instigated there it is the greater spending on weapon building by us would lessen the possibility of armed conflict to have state of the art weapon system for national security it is necessary wasting our resources so uh, you have to compare like see uh, is it uh, in the passage there is anything that is showing that uh, doing this will instigate something see cut our defense expenditure on weapon we can create a climate of peace with our neighbor subsequently reducing the conflict or creating no wars people who could people who claim so no there is nothing uh, as such talking about instigation then uh, the necessity okay this one it is necessary to have state of that no no we are given like you have to necessarily do that then many people in india believe that we are wasting our resources on weapon building many people in india feel that if we cut it is about cutting we are not saying that we are wasting our uh, that we are wasting uh, money uh, we are wasting our resources or money on weapon building so the answer will be this only okay so let's do this one just pause the video read the passage and we will answer it along with me so it is asking about the critical inference so cri- critical as in criticism and what do you infer or conclude from it so a lot of indians are illiterate and hence do not recognize the value of basic health practices is it given in the passage the see illiterate it is very extreme word uh, is it given in the passage like very explicitly no then india has a very huge population and the government alone cannot manage public health services see this is restrictive 
uh, and it cannot be inferred from the passage this is also wrong universalization and integration of maternal health and child health services can effectively address the problem mm, fair enough the nutrition of women in child bearing age does not affect this is also a restrictive one so uh, see if you like read it read the passage once and then you read the statements you will know what are the extreme statements used what are the restrictions used and uh, what are the irrelevant ones you will be able to answer it okay so this one passage 5 it is talking about the food that travels around uh, the world to be transported the processed food okay read it for yourself please and food and security wasted okay the consuming regionally grown food and not depending on long travel food is a part of eco friendly behavior yes this is right we can clearly uh, infer this from the passage like uh, it is given uh, it is given that uh, uh, the food that travels around the world and uh, reaches you um, exploit the environment so yes if you are consuming uh, eco, uh, the regionally grown food uh, that is a eco friendly behavior okay food processing industry puts a burden on natural resources yes see the third line uh, it is given grocery stores and supermarkets are loaded with preserved and processed food this however leads to environmental threats such as pollution generated by long distance food okay so it is given that it will create environmental threats okay Uh, so this will also be right. So answer will be both. So okay, read this one related to municipal corporation. It is talking about the inefficiency in our municipal corporations uh, related to the staff because they are hiring the the staff through academic abilities only. Okay, so. Hmm. and they are not to uh, giving importance to technical and managerial competencies okay so let's answer most logical and rational assumptions the task of providing urban services is a complex complex issue which requires the organizational expansion of municipal bodies all over the country okay so till here the task of providing urban services is a complex issue yes this is given in the passage urban service delivery and infrastructure are complex to plan and execute but read um, it fully the task of providing urban services is a complex issue which requires the organizational expansion of municipal bodies is the passage talking about only about uh, organizational expansion no it is talking about the uh, skill man tower also and in the last line only it is talking about they also suffer from weak organization design and structure so this will be wrong our cities can provide better quality of life if our go- local government bodies have adequate staff with required skill and competencies uh, yes we can assume this one lack of skill staff is due to the absence of institution which offer the requisite skills in cities management no this is not about uh, skill uh, skills given by the institution uh, the passages mainly concerning the recruitment process okay because okay, it is given that uh, uh, the cadre and recruitment rules only specify the bare minimum academic qualification there is no mention for to discuss all the chaos okay so this will not be there our country is not taking advantage of the uh, demographic division to manage the problems associated no it's not about demographic division the people are they are they are skilled we are not recruiting them right rightly so we will be okay we did the assumption question uh, okay i think i uh, me reading along with you will be fine okay i don't think like doing that will do anything good so plumbing goes in large flocks in the wild are social and extremely loyal they perform group ma- um, mating dances parents are very fond of their sheep getting them into creatures for protection while both male and female fly off to search for food okay this is about plumbing goes and they are parenting it okay okay so mass nesting in all species of birds is essential so it is asking corollary okay corollary matlab like one statement that leads to other Mm, that this is just a simple meaning of corollary and all species of bird so we are just talking about fleming goes okay this can be true like if you cannot dry, derive from the passage that okay uh, in all species you know, so this will be wrong only birds have the capacity to develop social behavior and thus can do mass nesting to no restriction see this is uh, this is restriction 
social behavior in some species of birds increases the of some species so yes we can consider let's see the d1 all species of birds set up features for the it's just talking about climbing course so mm, this one is it see okay so okay just these two questions are left okay so read the passage and then they will answer it together so okay um, this one is also asking logical corollary matlab uh, you have to see one statement uh, in the passage and if that can lead to the uh, second statement which is the answer okay so government should allocate more food to poverty alleviation program and increase food subsidies to the poor communities see this is not a assumption based question if it was an assumption assumption based question we could have uh, okay so Mm. so we should uh, like uh, see away from from the things which are not uh, directly uh, said uh, in the passage so this uh, passage is about uh, climate change and poverty so i am just giving you a trick if the statement has both of them then uh, it will be right because uh, the answer uh, because it is saying uh, the climate change is poverty is interconnected the summary of this passage is only that on that they are interconnected if you are poor uh, then it can it can be a driver of climate change and climate change can lead to poverty so the statement should have something that have both so see government should have put more funds for poverty no this is wrong this is like this can't be derived from any of the statement poverty and climate in fact reinforce each other mm, this can be true all the countries of the world must unite some must this is must and this is extreme okay you see the passage that we did earlier this one this was already a restrictive passage so answer can be in restriction but in such topics which are not restrictive you cannot answer it with something that is restrictive so this will be wrong we must stop unsustainable agriculture practices in, no immediately we must stop no this is not right because this is the most most appropriate one because it is saying poverty and climate impact reinforce each other and therefore we have to reimagine this this is so easy like upsc has given 2.5 marks on the platter because see it is saying poverty is a driver of climate change and climate change is already making people hungry all over the world see it's so easy to answer this one how is the last one this is economy based so read it carefully okay because students tend to uh, do um, the economy ones wrongly okay so foreign portfolio investments are not good for emerging economies no this is not given anywhere in the passage advanced economies undermine the global financial stability Mm, hold on on this india should this is some accepting no this is very very extreme emerging economies are at a risk of shock from advanced economies okay so we have to we are confused between b and d so advanced economies undermine the global financial stability this is very absolute statement like they undermine like they under 100% uh, undermine the global financial stability then emerging economies are at a risk so this is uh, like this is something like 50 50% chance of something being done so i think this will be right because this is, this is more of a extreme sp- statement like and it is not even uh, indicated anywhere that advanced economies absolutely undermine the global financial stability okay so risk uh, risk can be chosen here to answer okay so this is it for today uh, please like share and subscribe the video i know there is room for improvement uh, in my video i will ten- i will tend to improve this uh, this was uh, 2015 question paper i will come up with a session on 2016 one please uh, tell me uh, if you like the video was it helpful for you uh, will you be able to do certain questions from rc uh, with a confidence now just tell click uh, see we have done something like eight nine questions and they were really easy right we could read the passage and infer or conclude uh, a right statement because there were many extreme uh, uh, irrelevant uh, options so it was really easy for us to find the answer okay i will come up with a 2016 pyq analysis video let's see what 2016 uh, upsc c side question paper had uh, with respect to reading comprehension thank you
uh, we will meet again bye